Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity, and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the priest, St. Bernardine of Siena, a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may be ever set aflame with the spirit of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered to them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin. Greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind. We have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks to God. God. The responsorial psalm. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. 
I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O oh my soul, blare and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will be the dance among the people, O oh Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O oh Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give thanks to the Lord, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything that I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. Lord. Our gospel reminds us of the command to love one another. And the love that we have for one another should be in that way of self-sacrifice, which is very difficult to do because we do not want to sacrifice ourselves or give in that way. But we are reminded that that is how our Lord gave of himself to us. That is how our Lord lives and gives. And so we do that to follow our Lord's example, to say that as our Lord loves me, so I must love others in a similar way. And the great reminder for that is to remind us that we are third, that when we go about, not again to be a doormat, but to remind it in that way of charity, that first is God and second is other people, and third is us. To say, is there something that I can be doing for God at this moment? Okay, I can pray. I can do something charitable. I can do something loving for a person. Again, in that same way, is there something I can be doing for another person? Okay, I can be doing this or that. Is there something I can be doing for myself? Am I getting that energy so that I might be able to give to others? Am I taking care of myself in such a way that I'm able to live in that way of service for other people and in that way of love, and then, in a sense, we start all over again, seeing what we're able to give to God and to neighbor, and what we need for ourselves in order to fulfill the first two. 
My dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to strive to have that order in our minds. Let's continue to strive to love as God loves in that way of self-sacrifice. And let's ask the Lord's grace to help us along that path so we may continue to be reunited with the Lord and cling to the Lord and to our neighbor here on earth and eternally. Trusting in the work of the Holy Spirit, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the people of God, called to live in holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord For local church communities called to welcome people of every culture, race, and language, we pray to the Lord. Lord For church leaders called to lift burdens and inspire peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the sick and dying, call to offer prayer for the healing of all, we pray to the Lord. For all of us called to live the freedom of God's children, we pray to the Lord. For St. Paul the Sixth volunteers and for peace in Ukraine that we remember at this Mass today, we pray to the Lord. For the dead invited to share the glorious inheritance of God's children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God of freedom, you desire that we live in holiness, embracing your law of love. Give us courage to live as your children, that we may choose the path that leads to you, and so inspire others to the freedom you offer in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, 
and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment, and the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts, seen together the unending hymn of your glory, as they have claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, our God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and into this, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we obey the blessed Lord and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. By the kingdom of power, glory, and Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you, that not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other this peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, we take the ways of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take the ways of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take the ways of the world and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have wondered my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Alleluia.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is in Thanks. Thanks. Let us pray and hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. May Father, our Son, and the Holy Spirit be Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, let us pray the prayer to our mother. Mother of our mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, when your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear virgin. For in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your 